Kim, we'll check back with you then. Meanwhile, our top story this hour is a new controversy playing out in the campus of Michigan State University. And it involves Richard Spencer, a controversial national figure who will be speaking at MSU today, in fact. The appearance comes, though, after a legal fight aimed at stopping the event. Let's get to Nick Monticelli. He explains from the newsroom it's raising concerns about protests and possible violence. Nick, good morning. If you remember the story, Michigan State originally said that Richard Spencer could not speak on campus. That changed after realizing they would likely lose the lawsuit. But now there are several protests planned on campus and likely some things like this could happen as well. Today will be, let's say, an interesting day on the campus of Michigan State thanks to this man, Richard Spencer. Spencer is a leading figure in the movement dubbed alt-right. It encompasses a variety of views, including anti-immigration, white nationalist, and anti-Semitic. He heads a group called the National Policy Institute and attracts controversy wherever he appears. In fact, Spencer was one of the speakers at the Charlottesville Unite the Right rally last year that turned violent. Michigan State originally denied Spencer's request to speak on the campus, citing public safety concerns. But under threat of a lawsuit, a settlement was reached and Spencer speaks today. It's really up to the student's choice as to whether or not he wants to go visit him or whether they feel like what he has to say is too much for the, too much for them and they just decided like not to go see him and stay home. There's definitely going to be people there out of just curiosity. Um, the whole freedom of speech thing, if you look at some of the people that are uh, just kind of focused more on, on that side of it and want to just stand up for like the purpose of freedom of speech, will probably support it in that sense. Not saying they support necessarily him, but the fact that he can speak for his rights. Even though his visit is scheduled during spring break when many students are gone, there are three different demonstrations planned, all protesting his visit. The first goes all day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Organizers say it's a peaceful alternative event to the hateful rhetoric that will be spewed from white nationalists. There's also a march at noon and another rally beginning at 3.30. There will be plenty of cameras on the campus of Michigan State covering this event. You'll want to stay tuned to see exactly what happens at Michigan State. In the newsroom, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.